The PlayStation 5 is just a few weeks away, and despite how much we still need to know, the excitement is palpable. What new adventures and dangers await in the next generation of gaming? Let's take a closer look at 15 action-adventure titles coming to the console. The Pathless Giant Squid's Abzu was known for its gorgeous, soothing aesthetic, and the Pathless is no different. Where it differs is in the premise, as a hunter and her eagle companion travel to a strange island to battle cursed spirits. Moving through a vast open world, maintaining momentum by shooting crystals while also exploring ruins and weakening the spirits to eventually defeat them are just a few things players will do. The Pathless is out November 12th for PS5, with a release for PS4, PC, and iOS as well. Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart The world has been long overdue for a new Ratchet & Clank game. Fortunately, Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart remedies that in epic fashion, offering a new dimension-hopping mechanic that spans multiple old and new worlds. Coupled with gorgeous graphics, weapons that benefit from the dual senses haptic feedback, and seamless loading times, this is one adventure you won't want to miss. Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart doesn't have a release date, but it was stated to arrive around the PS5's launch window. The Lord of the Rings Gollum A stealth game set before the main Lord of the Rings trilogy, with Gollum sneaking around and being conflicted between his two personalities? It's certainly a stretch, but Daedalic Entertainment is making it work. The story sees Gollum escaping from a fortress in Mordor and mostly avoiding combat to survive while making choices to define his next approach and influence his overall persona. The Lord of the Rings Gollum is out in 2021 for PS5, Xbox, X and S, and PC, but will also be coming to Xbox One and PS4. Resident Evil Village More questions than answers have cropped up concerning Resident Evil Village since its reveal. These include Chris's seemingly evil turn, the mysterious village, and its hostile werewolf-like creatures, and Ethan's role in all of this. Still, the more extensive exploration, incredible visuals, and first-person perspective should make for a terrifying experience. Coming to Xbox Series X and S, PS5, and PC, Resident Evil Village releases in 2021. Deathloop out in QT 2021 for PS5 and PC, Arcane Studios' roguelite third-person shooter combines the abilities and movements of titles like Dishonored with a swanky aesthetic. Play as Colt, an assassin tasked with killing eight targets in a single night on Black Reef Island. Failing means the loop resets and Cole has to try again. Learning each target's specific patterns and exploiting this to full effect is key, but so is avoiding Agent Juliana, who other players can take control of to wreak havoc. God of War 2 2021 For as little as we've seen or even know about Kratos' next big adventure, there's no denying its significance. Ragnarok is finally upon us, but how will that impact Kratos and Atreus, along with the roles that Odin and Thor will play is still unknown. Whether it'll actually launch in 2021 or not also remains to be seen. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League Strangely enough, for as little gameplay as we've seen of Rocksteady's next game, there's quite a bit of solid information. Unlike the Batman Arkham series, this is a third-person shooter with four playable characters, Harley Quinn, King Shark, Deadshot, and Captain Boomerang, each with their own abilities and progression. You could co-op with other players or have an AI squad and switch between characters. With a release in 2022 for PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC, it'll be a while before we hear much more. Dying Light 2 Techland's Dying Light 2 seems like the perfect mix of first-person parkour, survival horror, and massive open-world role-playing where decisions have wide-ranging consequences. And it still does, despite the delay to a seemingly undetermined release date and few updates. Whenever it does arrive, though, exploring the city and watching our decisions affect its very fabric should be a blast. Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1 Frogware's open-world detective story goes back to the beginning with the young Sherlock Holmes as the protagonist. Investigating his mother's death on a Mediterranean island, o. Holmes will explore his surroundings for any clues, piecing together everything to create a case. Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1 is out in 2021 for PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC along with current-gen consoles. Immortals Phoenix Rising Combine Breath of the Wild with Assassin's Creed Odyssey and you get Immortals Phoenix Rising. As in, it's not even a debate that Ubisoft mashed both games together. Still, there's plenty to like about the story of a wayward Greek soldier named Phoenix fighting to free the Pantheon from Titan Typhon. Combat looks involving, the world is pretty and there's plenty to do, from exploring vaults to solving puzzles. Immortals Phoenix Rising arrives on PS5 and almost every other platform on December 3rd. Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales 
Insomniac's new-ish Spider-Man title has received some new details and footage lately, including a boss fight with Rhino, a better look at Miles' AoE-centric fighting style, and of course, Spider-Cat. It's looking to be a compelling adventure, even if its size and scale isn't that of a full sequel. Either way, it has J. Jonah Jameson, and really, what more could you want? Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales releases on November 12th for PS5 and PS4. Watch Dogs Legion what seemed like a pipe dream when Watch Dogs Legion was announced in 2019 is ever closer to becoming a reality. The ability to recruit and play as any NPC in the open world and getting lost in the emergent gameplay that could result already looks appealing, but it's backed by a massive true-to-life London, various traits that each recruit could have, and a somewhat intriguing story. Watch Dogs Legion arrives for PS5 on October 29th, but will be available on other platforms before then. Ghostwire Tokyo Far from being a survival horror experience like Shinji Mikami's The Evil Within, Ghostwire Tokyo takes a more supernatural approach. The story sees Tokyo's population disappearing into thin air and dastardly spirits called the Visitors running rampant. It's up to the player to utilize various spells and destroy them. Ghostwire Tokyo is out next year and arrives first for PS5 and PC. Unknown 9 Awakening one of the more interesting titles revealed back at GamesCon 2020 was Unknown 9 Awakening, set in Kolkata and focused on Haruna. She possesses special powers and on top of dealing with troubling visions, explores a strange realm called the Fold while trying to cope with everything. Actual gameplay still needs to be showcased, but Reflector Entertainment has us intrigued if nothing else. It's slated to release next year for PS5, Xbox Series X and S and PC. Kenna Bridge of Spirits Releasing in 2021 for PS5, PS4, and PC, Ember Lab's Kenna Bridge of Spirits tells the story of a young girl named Kenna who helps lingering spirits move on to the afterlife. Along the way, she'll encounter various spirits called the Rot who can help her while also using her staff, which transforms into a bow, to defend herself. With a serene aesthetic and intriguing mechanics, Kenna Bridge of Spirits should be worth checking out. And that wraps it up. If you like what we are doing, please consider subscribing to our channel and don't forget to switch on the bell notification icon. That way you will never miss out on any of our videos.